It is now April 4th, International World Rat Day! Yay! What is World Rat Day? Well, it is it is a little holiday that was started back in 2012 where basically people celebrate the pet fancy rat. Now, all rats, all pet rats anyway, are called fancy rats because they are the only breed of rat that is domesticated. Now, of course, they come in all varieties, such as black or white and black, rex, curly hair, no hair, <laughs> and all shapes and colors. But they're all fancy rats at the end of the day because they are all domesticated. When rats became domesticated, it was because they made really, really good pets. They're great pets for any age. They're easy to take care of, old or young. And they're like miniature little puppies, you know, just teeny little dogs. And we got Nude here saying, hi, happy rat day. Happy rat day. How you doing, old girl? Yeah, Newt is getting old now. She's past the two-year marker, which is seniors for a rat. Sadly, these days, rats don't live as long as two years, but every now and then they'll get lucky and go on to three or four. Rarest occasions would be six. The reason why they don't live very long, though, is because of cancer and um, inbreeding, human... Humans not taking good care of them. Um, but cancer being one of their big primary killers or ammonia, lung infections. Are you going to come up and say hi? Here's my girl. Going to come up and say hi. Hi. Here's my girl. <laughs> There's Boo wondering, whoop, <laughs> you almost fell. Where are you going? It's too early to go play. It's still daylight. You guys play at night. Yeah, Boo is very curious, but Dax is like, I could care less right now. I'm kind of sleeping. See my tail sticking out? <laughs> so, yeah, it is World Rat Day, and we're basically, basically, I'm going to take the time to educate people on pet rats. Again, when they were first domesticated, it was for pets. Not for food, not to feed other animals. It was for pets. And then they became a source of, unfortunately, uh, experimentation, which I don't like, but I don't know if, I, if it's safe to say for me that it needs to be done or not. <laughs> But they are used for other things too to bit of it and not just pets. It's been known that they have been they can be trained to detect early signs of tuberculosis in humans. What would take days of blood work to find out could take a rat less than five minutes. Yeah, because their noses are just that good. And in Africa there is the giant African rat, and they can train those guys to find landmines. They won't uh, trigger the landmines when they find them, and they can dig them up, and it saves pe thousands of people every day. So yeah, aside from being really good pets, they're also great for medical work and for saving lives. They have an amazing sense of smell, but really, really bad eyesight. Their eyesight is not good at all. That's why they rely heavily on smell. Their tails <laughs> are actually used for balance. They're pretty good at climbing. Um, they're very good at chewing. Ain't that right, Dax? <laughs> you look so cute in the pink and hammock. <laughs> Aw, he's being shy. That's okay. They are amazing little renovators. Um, which is why if you're going to have rats in your house and you need to find a playroom for them, be sure to designate a playroom that is rat-proof, rat-chew-proof. So anything steel, the cage needs to be steel, so does the bottom because they get chewed through plastic easily. They also can chew your carpet up <clears throat> if you're not careful. <clears throat> I've had that happen before, and I've also lost a few tech 
appliances, like wires to a TV, a headset, a stereo system. Yeah. Suffered a lot of losses from chewing. <laughs> yeah. But you guys haven't done any of that yet. Boo wants to say hi. Now, they're great for young kids with supervision. They're great little pet starters because it teaches kids um, how to take care of your pet. These guys need frequent attention or socialization. Not constantly. Like, a good hour of your time is good. They need to be fed healthy food. They're, they're, they are actually omnivores. They'll eat anything. They'll eat anything human. But just like humans... Um, if you overfeed them bad food, they can, they can get fat or sick. And you're right. Yeah. So yeah, they can eat some meat and they'll eat fruit and veggies. These guys really love cereal. They also love potato chips. <laughs> you guys love potato chips. Let's see. Um, yeah, so for kids, these are a great starter pet. You just got to be aware of the personality of rats. Some rats are more different than others. Some are a little bit more timid. Others more social, like Boo. Yeah, but when you get on a play, you never come back, and you play hard to get, and I have to catch you all the time. All the time. All the time, you little rascal. And, um, yeah, but for adults, they make great pets, too. Just the downside that they don't live very long. Well, you get back in the cage. Hi, Dax. See, Dax here is probably the most timid of the bunch. Oh, I see what you're doing. You trying to distract me. Get back over there. Get back in there. You get back in there, you little troublemaker. He's trying to escape. <laughs> you are a terrible boy. You get back in that cage. See, Dax doesn't like to be touched or held, so he pulls back every time I try. And that's fine. He's timid. He, he, he had a bad experience with humans when I first got him, and it's expected. Oh, you were trying so hard to get out. You get back in there. No! It's not playtime! No! I'm gonna close the cage. <laughs> he loves to come out and play. The problem is, though, when he goes out, he never comes back, and I have to go and find him. <laughs> so, yeah. They're great pets for kids. They're good pets for, um... For starter pet owners as well. Um, I don't know about apartments, whether or not, I mean, you'll have to talk to your apartment and see if they allow uh, small mammals as pets. I mean, a lot of, I hear a lot of apartment complexes are very hesitant about having rats because, you know, when they immediately hear rats, they think, ew, disease, gross. I want to point out, again, these are domesticated animals. They have very little disease. In fact, none. I mean, when you look at a puppy or a dog, do you automatically assume they're going to be carrying diseases? No. So why would you with domesticated rats? It's the same thing. Sure, like any animal, they might be carrying a few things if you don't get them checked out by a vet first. They don't actually need shots, though, because they don't carry diseases like cats and dogs do. They don't need shots for, like rabies or um or anything like that they don't see the the likelihood of a rat cat getting rabies is zero to none because usually the only way they can get that is through another animal that has it and usually when that animal has rabies it's because it's it's either a fox or a raccoon or a rabid dog and usually when these guys encounter those kind of animals they're dead Rabies would kill them anyway, almost instant, like within a few days, even if they were to survive the first attack of a, from a dog or a fox. So yeah, they don't have diseases. They they don't. But like any animal, you gotta keep you gotta keep their habitat clean. You gotta make sure they stay clean. I mean, they're very good at cleaning themselves. Very very good. They like to keep their tails clean. They like to keep their feet clean. Their fur. They groom themselves. The only time I would say you would be forced to give them a bath or wash them up is if they got into something they shouldn't have, or they're old and they're not feeling well and they need a little help. 
I've had that happen before with my previous older rats where they were getting old and they were struggling to clean themselves and I had to do it for them and by then their life quality isn't very good so when that happens usually it's just time that they are put down which is sad but it happens so yeah, this is World this is World Rat Day and I am giving y'all some education about rats. Please do your research before you buy an animal, a pet that you do not understand because um it's always best to do that with any animal before you invite it into your home. Make sure you know what you're getting into. Make sure you know what they need. Make sure you're prepared for all forms of personalities. Because, again, you have Dax here. He's extremely timid of humans. He doesn't like to be held. He does not like to be petted. He's very shy. As you can see, he, he likes to stay out of my contact a lot. And that's okay. He's very pretty to look at. Hi. <laughs> you have Boo. He's very, very energetic. And he does like the attention of people. But if you let him loose around the room like we do, he's not coming back. And he will put up a fight if you try to catch him. So he's a little bit of a brat. But then you have Newt. And she is... Not only is she good at coming back to the cage when I call her, but she loves people and she's really good with kids. And she's older now. I'd like to hope she would train these two to be like that. But, eh, every rat is different. <laughs> So, yeah. If you guys have any questions about rats, uh, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. Um, again, I think they are wonderful pets and they are very easy to take care of. Um, the only thing they're prone to uh, with uh, getting sick or old age is that male rats can get um, heart failure or heart disease. Female rats are known to get gestational uh, cancer. But if you neuter them and spay them, they're usually good at avoiding that. You just got to be aware of it. But it's not uncommon for them to get it, even after doing that. Um, they are also very prone to lung infections, such as ammonia or mycoplasma, which is the primary reason why they get ammonia. Mycoplasma involves when they get uh, the sniffles and sneezes and they get this red gunk around their nose or their eyes which is what Newt gets sometimes it's caused by stress but a lot of time it's mycoplasma and that is the lead cause of lung infections and getting sick in rats but yeah other than that they're really really easy to take care of just give them food once a day make sure their water bottles are constantly fed always clean their cage uh, depending on how dirty they get it. Like, I clean this cage every every uh, two or three weeks. And they love treats. What a better way to get to a rat's heart than through treats, because they love treats. You like treats, don't you, Dax? Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so on that note, every pony, or every rat, or every human being, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of tips or some facts I looked up and if you guys have any questions again feel free to drop me a comment and once again happy world rat day this is ADK also known as lightning bliss signing off <laughs>